Welcome back, everybody. We talk a lot about reducing carbon emissions, but methane is actually even more destructive to the planet. One company, however, is working on technology to eat methane. Diana Olick has the details in her continuing series on climate startups. Hi, Di. Hey, Ty. Yeah, it sounds gross, but I'm going to introduce you to something called a mem. Not a meme. I promise I'm saying it right. A mem is a methane-eating microbe, much like yeast that eats sugar in bread and produces substances that make it rise. Mems eat methane and produce fertilizer, all the brainchild of a startup called Windfall Bio. Methane is a potent greenhouse gas that traps far more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. Getting rid of it is essential to reaching global climate goals. And while much focus is on reducing methane emissions, California-based Windfall Bio has come up with a way to get rid of existing methane, naturally occurring microbes that live in the soil and eat methane as food. We provide those packets of, of MEMS, and then whoever has access to that methane can capture the methane um, themselves, turn it into fertilizer, and create the value from it. If a farmer is using the MEMS, they can turn around and use the fertilizer themselves. If it's an oil producer or a landfill, Windfall will buy the fertilizer back from them so they get paid for capturing methane. So it's still a profitable, useful process for them. Windfall has been researching this for a decade, but just launched two years ago. I've actually been honestly fairly shocked at how high the demand is. We have customers now on basically every continent, um, and we have more inbound interest than uh, we can even supply. Investors, however, say they are not concerned about it scaling quickly. We've seen the data and, and feel very compelled by what we've seen thus far. And we'll continue to progress this in a number of pilots across a number of different industries uh, going forward. In addition to Cavallo Ventures, Windfall is backed by Prelude Ventures, Amazon Climate Pledge Fund, Breakthrough Energy Ventures, and Mayfield. Total funding so far, $37 million. And another benefit from using MEMS is that traditional fertilizer production requires a lot of energy and produces huge carbon emissions, especially in making ammonia fertilizer. Windfall Bio says they're soon launching a program with Whole Foods market suppliers, specifically their dairies, to eat up the methane. Tyler? Di, I, I don't know whether you know the answer to this, and forgive me for asking if you don't, but how are these MEMS deployed so that they gobble up the methane? What Do you just sprinkle okay, it around so, places that methane is produced or what? Exactly. Okay, so let's say you're on a dairy farm. You could put the MEMS at the end of an exhaust pipe that comes out of the dairy farm. Or if you're putting them on agricultural land, you could use tarps and put the MEMS underneath the tarps and they will then suck up the methane. If it's at, you know, a smokestack or something where they do often do carbon capture and they do different types of you know, pipes that come out of that smokestack, you put the MEMS there. You put the MEMS wherever the methane is so it can have its dinner. Uh, is there competition in this space? Anyone else uh, in the methane-eating game? Not in the methane-eating game. There's, of course, a lot of competition in the fertilizer space, and there are different methods now being used to either capture methane or reduce methane, but not methane-eating microbes. No other MEMS. No other MEMS. All right, the MEMS stocks. All right, uh, Di, thank you very much.